Natasha Nyonyozi, the reigning Miss Uganda 2024-2025, was yesterday given a rousing reception as she returned to her home district, Kabale, ahead of her official homecoming and Thanksgiving celebrations. <laughs> The 23-year-old beauty queen who won hearts nationwide with her grace and intellect during the Miss Uganda competition was welcomed with cheers and admiration from family, friends and the people of Chigezi. Nyonyozi's return marks the beginning of a series of events to celebrate her victory and express gratitude for the support she received from her community. Arriving in the evening at Kabalaga Hills food station, she was met with the traditional Chichiga dance and paraded through Kabale town in a procession that paid homage for her achievements. The official homecoming and Thanksgiving ceremony is scheduled for Saturday, the 26th of October 2024, in Chonyo, Kamgangzi sub county, where Nyonyozi was born and raised under the guidance of her parents, renowned businessman Francis Mutabazi and Pastor Eva Mutabazi. In a brief speech upon her arrival at a local radio station after the Kavale town procession, Nyonyozi expressed heartfelt appreciation for the love and encouragement she has received from her people. I am I'm overwhelmed by the love and encouragement for my people. The victory I got is for all of us, and I am proud to represent Shigezi and Uganda on the global stage, Nyonyozi said. During a radio talk show, she shared her plans to visit Chikunjeli Center for the Disabled and other homes for the disadvantaged in the district, as well as several selected schools in the area. She urged young girls in the region to remain focused, confident, and to believe in themselves while trusting in God to guide their lives. <laughs> Mm -hmm. and support was overwhelming. It was a lot. And I'm very grateful. And foundation ya Miss Uganda Okay, they've taught me being under them has taught me a lot of things. When when you're deciding to be in and then we should just go and start voting now. <laughs> okay. Uh, in the town, in the build up to the homecoming, which is uh, on Saturday, right? Yes. Uh, how was the, this first impression? How was this reception? And uh, uh, do you look forward to the day? Of course, I look forward to the day. The reception of the day, the day, the It's a lot. I'm overwhelmed, mm. but I'm grateful. Bye -bye. So, do you have any idea about the activities that you're going to take part in, you know, yes. uh, during this uh, homecoming event? At Nyenchaka, it was a project work, some work related to the project. Um, we are going to visit some schools, um, the, um, maybe some centers that have children that are differently abled. Mm -hmm. Today, we, how we can help them. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, to Ineho, we have another, I don't know whether I should call it a small matter, but that would be an understatement. Okay. The, uh, the Miss World. Yeah. Are you looking forward to that? Yes, I'm definitely looking forward to that. Uh, okay. So that is your next, uh, your next step. Uh -huh. How ready are you? Looking towards, I would say uh, <laughs> maybe 80%. 80%. I'm still working on the 20. Mm. Mm. Okay. And uh, are you nervous about this? Yeah, of course. Of course. Uh, because uh, I think it was 2018 or 19, 2018 when Queen Avenatro mm -hmm. won Miss World Africa. Then last year, Hannah Akahagura first runners up Miss World Africa and Miss World Beach with the Purpose. Mm -hmm. I think her pressure, <laughs> her pressure is getting worse, huh? but. And the which is a good Mukama and the Tampaka Hatara Zekundeka. So he'll be there with me until Miss World. Trukshaw Munonga need to to have a blue crown age. Indeed, Ka pressure, Kariho, you're 80% ready. So, and uh, your predecessors have done something. Mm. So, you target here. What is your target as you head for this world? My target is to win the blue crown. 
that I can around. discuss it. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah. Yeah, I should always hope for the best yeah. and work uh, towards that. Mm-hmm. Um, Okay. Uh, I know you've had you've had a long day, but uh, um, now let's let's talk business. Mm-hmm. How does it feel coming back to Kabale uh, with a new title, uh, a crown of Uganda's beauty queen? How does it feel like bringing the crown home, and how does it feel being in Kabale for the first time with that crown, crown. on your head? Mm-hmm. It feels amazing, honestly, and I'm so grateful to God for the honor to be in this position. I'm the first Michika to bring the crown to mm. Kavali, to Chigezi. Mm. Eh, well, Chango. Chango, no. Chango, no. Uh, how simple or difficult was your journey to the crown? Was it as simple as you anticipated or it was uh, uh, more challenging than you expected? <laughs> it was... Uh, a bit more difficult than expected. Mm. Yeah, but nonetheless, it went well. Mm. There was pressure, but good pressure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 I agree. I already said there was pressure. But now, um, what is that one thing that you found so challenging? The pressure was there, it was good pressure, but this. Mm. What is that one thing? Mm. Mm. So I can't think I need some mook on car. I want to be some but tomorrow it it won't even matter anymore. By Ebigambo. You mean the, uh, the the attitude of society mm. uh, towards the the, 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 the Miss Uganda, uh, you know, uh, contest or Ninga, the negative talk, the negative energy is not going to win, she's not going to make it such kind yeah, of Yeah, of course there was negative talk. Mm. I remember posting something on TikTok and someone commented saying, last year the most beautiful, the most beautiful girl won. I don't think it's going to happen again this year. And I Why? said, no, <laughs> okay. But, uh, of course, it was definitely directed to me, but, mm-hmm. I mean, here I am, I've won, so... Okay, <laughs> uh, now you've won, and Nkoku uh, Wachigamba, you must be an inspiration to very many young girls out there, mm-hmm. especially Hanuya Omuri or Omuri Kigezi. Yeah. But now, let's face it, Nishuwa Ngo Oine... Omuguini wa wenka Miss Uganda, harebi interview yori chelire, yori yoku chiroti, you know, uh, um, I'm looking forward to doing this, this, yeah. and that. What are those things? Hati, what are Miss Uganda? No way, no way in a project. Uh, advocacy, what you're going to stand for, what do okay. you, like what is close to your heart. And the best, special needs, concentration, the other one, the autism. Hati autism, the disorder mm. affecting uh, um, like someone's brain neurologically. So these are children who basically process things slower in class. Ninga mm. wamuti wakaga ba. Hati project neyo supporting and neyo advocating. Jiraba na nkabo kujira. They get more inclusivity, especially in schools and mm. in the health sector. Okay. Nyonyozi, a strong advocate for children with special needs, highlighted her goal of empowering children with disabilities, particularly those with autism. She revealed her desire to create a foundation dedicated to supporting children with special needs, saying, I was driven by the desire to help children with autism and transform societies. Her homecoming has generated excitement throughout Jigezi with local leaders and residents cheering up for the Thanksgiving prayers and festivities. Nyonyozi's triumph has become a beacon of hope for the youth in Chigezi as she is expected to continue her advocacy for youth empowerment, entrepreneurship and autism awareness. Nyonyozi, a graduate of Coventry University with a Bachelor of Science Honours in Accounting and Finance, secured the Miss Uganda crown in a spectacular final at Sheraton Hotel Gardens, Kampala on the 4th of August 2024. She now prepares to represent Uganda in the upcoming Miss World competition where she hopes to make a lasting impact. The celebrations in Chigezi on Saturday will culminate into the Lake Winyonye Eco Marathon where Nyonyozi will be the chief runner and then a Thanksgiving service at her home in Kamganguzi, Chonyo, led by the Bishop of the Diocese of Chigezi, Right Reverend Gad Akanjuna. Memory Aguma for iTelevision.